Today we bring you the National Geographic Telescope. Today we'll show you how to unpack it and put together the telescope to allow you to go out tonight and look at the stars and the planets. Today we're bringing you the unpacking of the National Geographic Telescope, the 7600. Uh, inside the box you'll find a number of other boxes marked A to D and also comes with the instructions books. Very important to look at this, um, but you'll find it's very basic. So hopefully this video will help you put, put the uh, telescope together. What's important is that you unpack each of the boxes to ensure that all your parts are there. And the best way to do that is inside your manual is look at page three. Okay, in this part, we've got three legs that will come out. The most important part to think about is this, is you can extend the legs to the length that suits you. And this can be adjusted. The most important part is to know is when putting the screws into your holes that you don't make it too tight so that way it's finger tight at this stage so that way you can adjust it. Once you've extracted the leg from your box E you'll then have a screw and that's called the tripod screw. Just put that into, into the hole there and screw around tight enough so then your middle leg does not move up or down and that will just allow you to have an extended leg. As you'll see you'll, you'll make three of those um, to start your telescope stand. Now that you can see we've done the three legs and they're together, this is just an accessory stand which I've already done two of the nuts on, on the actual tripod stand that are already connected and all I'm going to do now is just show you how to put the third one in. It's a simple task, there's not too much to do with it. It's basically you just put the screw through the top of the top of the hole, you can place it at any place that you wish that suits you and once it's in you then screw the actual screw on with a butterfly clip on the bottom. Now that you've done that, this is what it should look like. We've now opened up box B, which is the latitude mount. This is the most difficult part to put on, so you may need a spare pair of hands. The most important part, this is how box B comes. The mount is this large, and it's all put together like this. So there's nothing more you need to do, um, but it's important that you place that on top of your um, stand. Okay, we're now showing you how to place the final leg, but it's the same for all three legs. These are the three pieces that you'll need, and it's as simple as doing the following. Ensure you line it up so the screw goes through the hole, and it comes out the other side. Come through, so you put the screw right through the leg, you put your washer on the side, then your butterfly screw, and you just turn that clockwise a few times. And as I said throughout this video, is ensure that the screw isn't too tight, it's just finger tight, but you also wanna make sure the mount is solid. And you'll see the solids on there, and it's all put together quite well. Okay, so what I've got now is a counterweight and the counterweight rod, and this is to help balance out the telescope. Um, this can go on after the telescope is on or before. What we're going to do here is actually show you how to put it on while the telescope isn't on. Okay, you had to remove the weight and also the screw from the counterweight. And when you've done that, you place your counterweight rod through the weight and you'll see that you've got it right because it won't fall off. And all this does is you can put that back in and screw it on at whatever weight you want the counterweight to be on this rod. And that can vary depending on where you are. Okay, as you can see, we've done the weight and the screw rod together. They can be done at separate times, but the screw rod just goes in here. And as it goes in, you just screw it around until it's fully screwed into place, ensuring it doesn't drop on your foot. Um, it shouldn't fall once it's been screwed in, but screw it all the way through to the end. And then you've completed that task. Okay, we're now about to show you how to place the OTA ring onto the telescope mount. Now, to place the OTA mount uh, into the box, you'll just see there's an easy spot, it fits there easy. Turn the screw around this side, you'll see as it goes, it's just again another butterfly screw. And just screw it in tight, and that needs to be quite tight. Still again, finger tight, and it won't, shouldn't move, shouldn't slide, but you'll see that this can open and close and we'll show you what that does shortly. Now you'll see with a telescope, it's got two ends and both are actually closed off. We'll show you what that means later. But for now, all we're doing is we're putting the telescopic lens onto 
its OTA mount. And all you do is again, place that in like so, push your mount cover over, which we showed earlier, and as it comes over the top, you'll see all it does is clip into that space, and again, it's just another screw that just needs to be tightened, finger tight again, because if you make it too loose, it will slip out. And as you can see, it's finger tight, and you should be able to then know if it does, it shouldn't be able to slide in and out. Okay, well, these are what we call fine adjustment lenses. So all these do is you put these on, and when you do go outside, they'll just help you do some fine adjustments. Uh, they're pretty easy, straightforward. Again, they just clip on, like we've said all along. You just put it onto the sliding bit, tighten it up, and you'll be able to feel if that slides off or on. So just make sure it's on enough that doesn't turn, and you'll just use that to fine tune um, when you do get the chance to take it out. And the other one just goes on here. Again, it's not about how hard, it's just about putting it on softly, finger tight again, and again, you'll just be doing adjustments when you go outside with it. Okay, and this is the final screw, and this is the latitude screw. Again, you'll see a hole here, it fits in there nicely. Again, you just turn it, and you'll notice as you continue to turn this, you'll find it will finally reach the actual mount and it will push the mount so it will start to push the latitude into the actual device. As you can see as I'm turning it, device is going up as you turn. And you'll work that out when you're outside and you do have a nice day or night to be able to see the moon and the planets. Okay, and the final piece from box C, which is the viewfinder. Um, this is quite easy, it's already set up for you. Um, if you look through it, it basically gives you a view like a periscope, but basically all that does is go into the top part of the um, device up here, and that just slides in like so. And as you see, it just clips in there. Okay, and that's your final setup. So that's all pieces now put together, and now your telescope is ready to be used um, when you're ready. What we will do, and we'll come back, we'll show you where they've got some dust covers on the eyepiece, and on the front, we'll show you how to remove those shortly. Okay, finally, the best part and the most exciting part, this is the removing of the cover. For this one, it's remove the dust covers just to take that out, and we'll teach you how to put the eyepieces in, magnifying glass to show you how you can see, and also take the dust piece out of here, which is another cover, and that just comes off like so. Okay, we're going to grab one of the lenses that comes from the box um, and it just clearly, you unscrew this um, Place your viewfinder, this one's a H8mm Goes in there like so And places it in there like that Screw it back on, and this allows you to look through here and be able to see whatever you're pointing your magnifying at. And what's important is use this to direct, so you actually look through here, and you'll actually use these adjustments to work out what you are going to be looking at at night. What you will find is a lot of the objects that you see on the ground are upside down. Don't think that's incorrect, that's how we are. Not that space is upside down, but that's what the uh, instructions say it needs to look like when you're going, before you go outside to look at stars and planets. Hopefully this video now was helpful and now you can go out and enjoy your uh, new telescope while looking at the stars and the planets. Have fun.